Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be comparing notability and good notes for PDF reading. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human. Welcome back. Before we get started, Notability has updated its app to add a pencil tool. They've also changed the icon for the pen tool and also its pop up menu. Let us know how you feel about the new look. All note-taking apps have decent PDF reading tools for PDF annotation. Their pens, highlighters, and text boxes are great for basic PDF reading on the iPad. In both apps, you can long press the text in your PDF to highlight it. You can also change the color in both Notability and GoodNotes. You can also copy the text, look up its meaning, and even have the iPad read it out loud for you. In notability, it was just too fast. Notability contributes critically to inflammatory processes involved in normal host defenses. Good notes read out feature sounded better. Counted first in the skin and subcutaneous tissue, and are therefore discussed. In Good Notes, you can also strike out your selection, an option you do not get in Notability. Notability, however, supports True Dark Mode, which makes reading PDFs in the night a breeze. Both apps can work with column text very well, which is awesome. GoodNotes recognizes PDF outlines or contents pages. These are important for quickly skipping to the exact part of the PDF you need. It will save you a lot of time. Notability doesn't recognize these, which is disappointing, especially in 2023. When your document doesn't have an outline, you can create one in GoodNotes. The app can then let you navigate the outline you created or the one that came with the PDF, if your PDF had an outline. Notability relies on bookmarks for easing your navigation. It's not as good as an outline, but it works. The page thumbnails give you a quick preview of the pages, making it easier to find what you're looking for. You can also choose to view your annotated pages only, which is handy. GoodNotes bookmarks are similar to what you get in Notability. However, it doesn't have an option to view only the pages with notes on them. Hyperlinks are another way of easing your navigation through a PDF. Both GoodNotes and Notability can recognize them and deactivate them when you're using your Apple Pencil. It makes both apps great for using digital notebooks and digital planners. Neither app can create these hyperlinks though. They can only open already existing ones. At any given point, GoodNotes opens more documents than Notability because it supports multiple tabs. Tabs are ideal for research. You can jump from one PDF to another with just a few tabs. Notability can open two documents, one above the other. And this setup is great for comparing text. Coupled with multiple instances, you can compare up to four PDFs at once in the application.
Only Good Notes has two-way collaboration, which is very important when you work in a team. Your whole team can comment and annotate the PDF together in real time. This is such an amazing feature that makes Good Notes an amazing PDF reader. Notability allows you to share a copy of your notes that people can only read and see the changes you make. The document can't be larger than 100 megabytes, which is another limitation you have to deal with. Notability can lock folders, which is important when you have sensitive documents. The app also protects your PDFs with a password when you export them. GoodNotes has no way of protecting your PDFs. Both apps can let you choose the pages you want to export out of the application. And you can share a document without annotations in GoodNotes. Both apps can export active hyperlinks, so your document is still easy to navigate when you export it out of the app. And that's if the app you're exporting to actually opens hyperlinks, of course. Both apps offer some impressive PDF reading experiences on the iPad. We hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.